What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today on Tactical Pineapple, we are getting back to what we do best. Yep, politics. I know, I know, it's a fucking nightmare out there, but you know what? We have to talk about it. It is the Extreme Risk Protection Order of 2021. House Resolution 2377 has made it out of committee. Uh, we gotta talk about it. But before we do, I would like to give a huge shout out to Drop It Like It's Scott. First and foremost, congratulations again on 5,000 subscribers. Uh, he had his giveaway the other night, live stream, great fucking guy, a uh, great group of guys I should say, because him and Knight's Armory both made a huge push for this channel, got us some new subscribers, so if you are one of those guys, I'd like to just give you a huge shout out, a little recognition, thank you for joining us, I hope I don't let you down, uh, if I do, don't unsub, just stay a number, alright, anyways, uh, like I said, today we're going to talk about House Resolution 2377 and what it actually means and what we need to do. So, without further ado, roll that beautiful bean footage. So yeah, like I said, HR 2377. Um, nothing really new here, uh, other than the fact that the Democrats now control the House. Uh, obviously, they also have the presidency. Uh, it's just a new bill, a new day, a new dollar. But it is an extreme risk protection order that's been pushed now out of the Judiciary Committee for the House and moved forward favorably, apparently, to the House for a vote. What does that mean? Well, it means eventually this bill will be read on the floor and voted upon uh, with all supposed amendments currently taken care of, but I don't agree with it. I know there were a couple that were kind of just tabled. Uh, they should have been fought for a little bit more to that. I need to reach out to my own House member, my own House representative in uh, Fitzgerald. Uh, he totally backed down like a spineless fucking jellyfish. But hey, what are you going to do? He's part of the two-party system. So um, it is moving forward. It is going to get scheduled, which obviously, what does scheduling mean? Uh, scheduling can be two things. Number one, uh, if something moves forward to scheduling out of committee, uh, if the House is not favorable to it, uh, say if it was something pushed by a Republican, um, they would just kind of not schedule it. They would just get hung out to dry and just sit there and sit there and sit there and sit there. Uh, even though it's moved favorably out of committee, committee, it doesn't really fucking mean anything if they don't schedule it. This one, however, the House is in charge. They are going to schedule it. When are they going to schedule it for? I don't know. Probably the midnight right before Thanksgiving or Christmas if I had to make a guess because that's what they do. They try to push it through in a final hour while nobody's paying attention. So uh, definitely keep your eyes on HR 2377. It is that time of the year for them to try to sneak shit in, hide it, and, and make it go through without anybody noticing. Um, all that being said, I believe it'll be closer to the Thanksgiving time frame because I'm guessing they're going to want to try to push a Senate vote before the end of the year, which, again, would be hiding it. Um, a little bit more promise in the Senate, but we'll get into that in a little bit. So Wednesday, they voted uh, in the Judiciary Committee of the House to move it forward favorably, and that it was like 25 to 19, expected to be 26 to 19. One person just failed to be recognized or whatever. So um, it did exactly as they expected. It was 100% party line. And it was pushed through because that's what's going to happen. Uh, once it's into the House, it is scheduled and it is voted upon. Pretty much almost an identical situation is going to happen. Uh, there will be some fight, some pushback, but a lot of it's probably just going to get fucking tabled. And it will be voted upon because they know they can push it through however they want to. Uh, they're not looking to make any friends with this. Um, as a matter of fact, they, the law or the, the order in and of itself does the exact opposite. 
it basically just makes everybody the fucking enemy and without any due process they can just come and confiscate your shit but you know whatever it's it's not like there's a constitution here in this fucking country or anything like that but uh like i said the dems hold the majority there's not really a whole lot we can do with the house it's going to pass it's going to go through luckily there is always the senate prior to it going to the the president um so there is a bit of a buffer there however that buffer literally comes down to a single defector right now in the republican party so I know everybody's like, well, it's an, it's an extreme risk protection order. It's a red flag law. Republicans hate those. Not all Republicans hate those. And and honestly, it's going to be individuals that you probably don't expect, but you got to keep an eye out on it. And if these guys are your senators, make sure you reach out and say, vote no, motherfucker, because we are not going to put up with this shit. Uh, as a matter of fact, if you are in a Democratic place, do the same. I know that it's not going to go anywhere. It's going to fall upon deaf, ear, deaf ears, but... Uh, it is what it is. You, you do what you can to try. You do the political route because the political route is the route that was intended by our forefathers. You know, everybody says they'd be stacking bodies already, but they went a long ways. They did a lot of things to avoid stacking bodies uh, back then. I believe we have to do the same now. Do our due diligence. And uh, when the first shot, the shot heard around the world is fired again, that's when we, we take arms and, and do what we have to do. But... Um, in the Senate, it literally is reliant upon every single Republican voting no to prevent it from going forward to Joseph fucking piss pants Biden's, uh, you know, desk for signature. Once it reaches that, if it reaches that, it will be signed upon. It will go into effect, and and there will be no legal recourse for a vast majority of the United States population to protect their own rights. Uh, if you suffer from depression, if you suffer from anxiety, um, if you suffer from having a family member who's a liberal and doesn't like the fact that you like guns, you very likely could be red flagged, fucking slapped up, and your guns just fucking confiscated, taken out from underneath you with zero legal recourse for you to actually gain access to them back. I know there's certain things that are put in the bill that make it seem like you can, but you literally have to file a petition within 14 days, and sometimes it can take more than 14 days for you to be notified that you are already red flagged. You may not come for confiscation until day 21. It's already past the 14 days for you to submit for a rebuttal, and, and you're fucked. So um, there's a lot of shit in here that, that could really go sideways. Um, and that's why... The three senators I'm about to, to, to reference are, are key uh, because, unfortunately, they are Republican. They have supported red flag laws before, and they will likely do it again. So make sure 100% if these are your senators that you are reaching out to them first and foremost. So Marco Rubio of Florida has supported red flag laws in the past. Lindsey fucking Graham has supported red flag laws in the past. And Mitch, I'm a fucking Turtle McConnell of Kentucky, has supported red flag laws in the past. As a matter of fact, Mitch McConnell has pushed for red flag laws in Kentucky. So please, if these are your fucking senators, make sure you reach out to them and fucking tell them no. We don't want this shit. We don't need this shit. Get bent. And that, that literally needs to happen. Um... Honestly, I don't even care if it's in that language. I know there's a lot of people who would be like, well, be respectful. We're beyond the point of being respectful. It's time to tell them how we really fucking feel because it's absolutely fucking ridiculous what's happening right now. So um, it, it really is what it is at this point. We have to do what we can to contact them. But the reality is, is do we really want to continue to rely on a two-party system Democrat, Republican, every time one of these laws come up, it, it's literally going to hang in the balance of one fucking vote. Uh, I personally don't want to do that. We need to take the fight to them ourselves. Uh, I'm not saying pick up your firearms and go to it. I'm saying there are people out there willing to fight for us, with us, and by our side. And those people are the Firearms Policy Coalition and Gun Owners of America. If you are not already... Please, please, please look them up. Follow them. Subscribe to them. Do whatever you can to push their social media. 
get them out there, spread the word, share five fucking dollars with them. On my channel myself, we have a shirt that we've been selling on our merch store for a little while. Any of those proceeds, 100% of that goes to Gun Owners of America because that's what we decided to do with it. Um, I can show you the Tactical Pineapple YouTube channel has a GOA fucking tag. Um, it is what it is. So just get out there and join the fucking fight. We need it. We need every single one of you guys out there fucking making your voice heard because uh, I believe the American patriot is a lot stronger in this country today than it's ever been, um, and it's not going to go anywhere. So please, like I said again, if Mitch McConnell, Lindsey Graham, or Marco Rubio are your senators, make sure you're reaching out to them and telling them we don't want H.R. 2377 to push through the fucking Senate and go to fucking piss pants fucking desk. It's not what we want in this country. It's a blatant violation of the Second Amendment, and we will not fucking stand for it any longer. So, that being said, if you've made it to this point of the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, get down there. I actually want to hear from you on this one. What are your thoughts on HR 2377? What are your thoughts on red flag laws? And what are your thoughts on people with mental illness and disorders uh, actually being fucking gun owners like this is a conversation that needs to be had and it is a conversation we are going to be having on a live stream upcoming uh just stay tuned folks it, it will be coming out we're going to have that conversation and we're going to do it with somebody who actually experiences shit like this on a regular basis so again thanks for joining us thanks for sticking around the channel and by fucking all graces of god do what you can, reach out to those senators, and I will see you in the next video.